Haiti is a very spiritual place. We cultivate spirituality. We believe the people around us are spirits with a body, the body not being the main part. I am a Hougan, a voodoo priest. They call me Ati. Ati means the big tree, meaning that I am the big tree who opens up uh, wide uh, on top uh, to allow small trees to grow. Voodoo people are poorly understood in the world because uh, we have not talked much about our philosophy. You have had other people, such as Hollywood, who have been voicing big things about voodoo, making movies here and there in large numbers. Prepared for the devil and his angels. As a tradition, voodoo sets all type of relationship that one should have. Relationship with God to start with, relations with the human being, and the relationship with nature that surrounds us. Whether it is the sun, whether it is the moon, whether it is the rain, whether it is the thunder. We know that earthquake is a physical act. The earth moves. In fact, life itself is movement. That's why we call it Dan in Vaudou. Once you're moving, that means you have life. Vodou is based upon plurality. Everybody has a seat in Vodou. We know very well and we do understand that I cannot be in peace with myself unless you are in peace, you too. So the peace of others is as important as my own peace and my happiness too. And this is our philosophy. For us, the earthquake was totally the unexpected. In a few minutes, less than one. You have hundreds of thousands of people who died. How many of those homes that are crumbled? A home is something that you work your whole life to build stone over stone over stone before you get to a house. And you lost it in one minute. So it tells you about the fragility of the human things. And by gathering together, one heal each other. Charité, c'est notre douane. Tout le monde fait un pile charité. Tout ça nous fait, c'est ça que nous allons manger, nous allons boire, il faut que nous aider ça que nous allons faire. Nous disons, aïe, boubou, ça. We have seen uh, pastors gathering together in Cité Soleil, uh, preventing a voodoo priest to have uh, his uh, funeral ceremonials for all those deaths that we have known. The whole idea of white supremacy. Just like at the time of Christopher Columbus, they believe that they are the only owner of religion and nobody else is. And themselves, they prefer to see the earthquake as a, an act of God, an act of Jesus Christ. I don't know how they manage to explain in their mind and that Jesus Christ uh, is the one that put down the 47 of, the, of their 51 churches including the Cathedral of Port Prince, as if God did not like them for some reason. I would have preferred to see them put their head together with us and all of us together, trying to rebuild our nation that has been shred like paper. We like to thank uh, what they call the International Solidarity, who have been sending all those many planes, 140 of them per day. But a few evangelical people have grabbed everything for themselves. They believe it's a moment for them to take advantage. Those things were sent to the Haitian people altogether, not to those pastors. And they believe that it's totally theirs. And they can market it against the, uh, the soul of people, just like if people could buy soul. 
Uh, we like to see Voodoo as a religion, as if it was like Christianity or like it was Protestantism and this and that. But it's more than that. It's a religion which is married, mixed, like my recent beans, along with the history of the population. Removing Voodoo is re removing the history of the people. What most people don't understand is that Haiti exists as a nation because a few slaves put their mind together one day at one voodoo ceremony called Boakaimo and decided that this state of affair was unjust. It was inhumane. So in fact they revolted. And that's the way, after 13 long years of fight, Haiti became independent. It became independent to glorify the human race, the human being. Christy, something happened a long time ago in Haiti and the people might not want to talk about it. They were under the heel of the French and they got together and swore a pact to the devil. They said, we will serve you if you'll get us free from the French. True story. And so the devil said, okay, it's a deal. The devil, the Satan, that's their thing. That's their mythology. But for us, that Dumbala, that big snake, it's like the spiritual rope that ties all Haitians together and make them one, make them one society, make them one nation. Removing the is removing the nationality. That rope, if it did not exist, it would have to be invented because it is from the rope of slavery that we move to the rope of the Since the earthquake, we are like a, a group of people who have received uh, a blow on the back uh, with, uh, from an iron bar. We have been hurt physically, we have been hurt mentally, and we are also hurt spiritually. Right now in our country, it's the time that we need uh, uh, to be able to count on everyone. And in this case, that person, that other person, maybe Catholic, Protestant, or Voodoo people, any kind. We need every single Haitian to stand up together. <laughs>